Let's learn about probability distributions and random variables. First off, what is a random variable? A random variable is a variable whose outcome is determined by chance. So this example that I've got here of flipping a coin by chance is gonna land on either heads or on tails. I'm gonna go ahead and define my random variable here to be the number of heads that we get when we flip a coin twice. Now this would be the same as flipping the same coin twice or flipping two coins and seeing what our outcomes are. So what are those outcomes? I could either get two heads or I could get a single head, which would be a heads and a tail or a tails and a head, that one shows up twice, or I could get two tails. This is going to build me right into my probability distribution. Let's think through what the possible outcomes are for X. X represents the number of heads that we can get when we flip that coin twice. So the smallest number would be here at zero if I got both a tails and a tails. I could also end up with a single head and that would be in either one of these, either heads and tails on the second or tails and heads on the second. The highest number that I could get would be two. So in our probability distribution, I'm gonna write down the possible values that X can take on and then I'm gonna compute the probability for each of those. So the probability of X in order to get a probability we need, so the probability of x is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. I've got four different ways that I can end up with the outcomes on those two coins. So when I put my probabilities together, I can go ahead and start counting. So the probability of zero, there is only one of those and there are four possible outcomes. So I get a one fourth there. For the probability of one, when X is equal to one, there are two of those. So that's gonna be a two out of four or a one out of two. So finally, the probability of getting two heads, that can only happen one time. So that would be a one out of the four. Let's put these into a graph. As I put these into my graph, I need a vertical axis for the probabilities and a horizontal axis for the values that X can take on. So X lives here and my probabilities live here. When X is equal to zero, that height is going to be at a one fourth. When X is equal to one, that height, which is that probability, is two fourths or a one half. And at two, when X is equal to two, that probability or height is again equal to one fourth. To learn about binomial probability distributions, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching.